Hello YouTube, this is another nickel problem called find pick element. A pick element is an element that is greater than its labels. Means it's greater than its uh, right right uh, label and left label. Giving an input array nonce, well nonce, or equal to nonce or plus one. Find a pick element that returns this index. The array may contain multiple picks. In that case, return the index to any one of the pick it finds. So the peak is 3, 3 is greater than uh, 2, 3 is also greater than 1. Okay, so this problem is straightforward that uh, we just uh, follow. And uh, when we check the i element, uh, we check whether it's greater than i minus 1 or and, uh, if it's greater than i plus 1. So let's do that. First thing first, uh, some corner case. Now stop length is equal to zero. In this case, return minus one. Or if now stop, if there is just one element, we just uh, return zero. Otherwise, we need a target uh, index. Uh, we also need a. If we found that pick element. We loop this array down stop lines minus one plus 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 if i is greater than nonce i minus one and nonce i greater than nonce i plus one means that the ith element is greater than its left and right labels. In this case we set to, to true, we also give tuck index to i, and then we break out. After we uh, loop the whole array, we need to check if we didn't find any. So we need to check if nonce 0 is greater than nonce 1. In this case, we just return 0. Or if nonce then minus 2 is less than nonce, less than the last element which means we need to return the last index otherwise if we found that we just return the last index why we need check here because here we know from uh, from 1 to nonce dot length minus 2 because we need to make this and this a valid index within boundary so we need some additional check right here so run go that worked uh, submit okay yeah that worked uh, let me know if you have a better solution thank you